Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Arma Hobby. It is molded in 170 second scale and it copies FM2 Wildcat. And what is even more interesting is that we have expert set so it means we should have uh, some bonuses for this kit and it will come out a bit more detailed than just a simple plastic and decals. This is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and we are going to open it and check what is hidden inside. So first of all box size is typical for this manufacturer here you can see comparison with my hand and box art is quite nice I would say it would be cool to have it as a you know, poster on the wall I wouldn't mind to get it for my collection at least uh, here we have also what is included inside so we have plastic parts decals for six marking options six marking options and also PE parts in case you don't see it we can zoom in so that you can see and also masks are included that's also cool Okay, and here we have six marking options. So these are given in form of simple profiles, but I guess there will be some marking guide which will uh, show us a bit more of these markings. So we will check it. And here we have some safety devices and address of the manufacturer. So I guess it's not that important. Let's open it. It's a side opening box. Inside we have, I wouldn't say plenty of space, but it's not a tight packaging. It's due to this, uh, let's say, fuselage halves, which are a bit volume consuming everything is packed into this receivable plastic bag and I'm a bit surprised that we have the clear sprue uh, without any plastic bags I mean even though it is separated by assembly manual it would be better to have it packed together with some clear plastic bag and we are actually going to start with this plastic frame so here it is let's zoom in and here you can see it so whole canopy should be assembled out of several parts and it means you will be able to open the cockpit and as you remember manufacturer includes the um, masks so it shouldn't be difficult to cover all these sections and get really nice paint work so I wouldn't be worried about these moments and molding quality looks fine but again I'm a bit surprised with packaging because usually let's say it's a um, tradition already among plastic manufacturers that we have clear plastic sprue packed separately in the separate plastic bag in order to avoid any possible scratches so maybe it's a small suggestion for the manufacturer as well Okay, next we go on with grey plastic sprue, so we are going to start with this one and don't be surprised by this <laughs> special thingies because these are used just to hold the sprues together, they are not used in the model, so let's zoom in a bit and in the meantime uh, let me uh, do a small pause because I would like to remind you that you can support us financially it is easy to do because we have special support button on our website it's done via PayPal and now during this quarantine time we really need your support so I would really appreciate uh, if you can support us via PayPal via this button and there are also special affiliate links in the video description so if you are usually buying something from Amazon you can also help us by buying via these links so that we will get some small commission which will be also helpful. So here we have first grey plastic sprue as I said, we have cockpit floor here, we have also bulkhead and the front wall, we have also the landing gear parts, fuel tank which should be assembled out of two house and molding quality looks really impressive. I mean this is a 170 second scale and still I don't see any possible problem. All the parts look really nice so it's just a matter of careful assembly and you'll be good to go. Note that pilot seat for example is molded as a one piece part. Let's flip it over. Here on the opposite side you can notice that for example few tank halves they have special guiding elements which will help you to align them together and the landing gear wheels they are molded as one piece parts so you will have to use some masks in order to carefully paint them and avoid uh, let's say ugly result. Okay next we go on with second grey plastic sprue this one is dedicated to the fuselage halves as you remember and also to wing parts. So from both sides we have uh, two halves for each side of the wing. We also have both fuselage halves molded together with tail fin. And here we have separate 
front cooling section, one piece propeller, uh, some engine parts, but engine should be relatively simple, so if you would like to see something different, a bit more detailed, I would like to recommend to resort to some uh, resin parts maybe, because I am sure there should be some offering for Wildcat in 172nd scale. Maybe for a different plastic, but it won't be difficult to adapt it for this kit. External detailing is typical, I mean, it looks really good, and as you can see, these are recess panel lines. They are not really deep, just like on the real aircraft, I guess. So be sure not to apply a lot of layers of primer and paint because otherwise you will lose them and it will be really difficult to uh, recover them or you have to rescribe whole model. Let's flip it over. Here inside we have guiding elements and with Spizowich, as you remember, cockpit is assembled separately so here we have just special tabs which will guide these elements. And that's pretty much all. I'm not sure why we have this interesting element here, so we will have to consult with assembly manual, but otherwise I don't see flash, I don't see any other possible molding damage, so it's just a matter of careful separation, gluing together, and I guess even out of the box model should look really nice. Okay, next we go on. Because this is a expert set, so here we have this small plastic bag, as you can see, it is supplied together with masks and P. So just give me a second. I'll take them out. Okay, so first of all, let's check the P parts. So here we have unpainted P thread with cockpit parts. Let's zoom in even more. With cockpit parts, also with some engine elements. These lines will have to be installed on the engine and also seat belts and some of the other external parts. Everything looks really cool. I mean, that's really nice that dashboard is replicated with PE ports and unpainted PE ports, so you will be able to play with weathering, for example. And, I mean, to have such bonus out of the box, it's also a great advantage of this kit. Next, we also have the pre-cut mask set. Here it is, I guess, yeah, camera focus, surprisingly. So here we have masks not only for canopy, but also for landing gear wheels. That's really cool, because it will be handy for a bit faster assembly process. And of course, in 170 second scale, it will help you avoid uh, cutting all these small rectangular shapes with sharp knife, which is not such a pleasant procedure, we can say it straight. And here we also have decals sheet in the assembly manual, so just give me a second. It's printed by TechMod, so printing quality should be really good. Let's zoom in a bit, now you should be able to see it. So here we have all necessary symbols for six marking options, as you remember. We have decals for instrument panel. And we have decals for seat belts, so in case you don't want to use P parts, I don't know why, but there are some people, so you can use decals which will look also nice. And note that stencils are also included, that's really cool, in 172nd scale, that's something you don't um, encounter too often, let's say. Here we have assembly manual, let's zoom out a bit. So assembly manual is printed in typical Arma Hobby format. In case you saw previous reviews, you should be familiar. It's a small br brochure with short history note and safety advices. We also have here the, uh, let's say, contents page and covers chart, masks application guide. And next we start with assembly process. So everything begins with cockpit, of course. Then we continue by assembling the rear bulkhead, side panels, and side panels will be upgraded with various levers, so be careful while joining all this stuff together. Then this cockpit sub-assembly goes into the fuselage. Here we have the front wall, which will be installed together with this special chains, which is quite interesting. I mean, I wonder if it will be visible on the finished model, maybe through the uh, winding gear wheel wells, main winding gear wheel wells. Here we assemble the engine insert. Actually, well, it looks more or less like an engine, but I would say it should be fine for out of the box build because we have PE parts. But if you would like to open the cooling, then you should really consider upgrading for resin replacement. Here we continue with installation of wings. Also tail surfaces, propeller, and note that there are different propeller hubs for different marking options. 
here we started assembling the landing gear system and that will be quite an interesting process because uh, Wildcat is famous for its not that I would say easy designed and simple designed uh, landing gear system so be careful while copying it in such small scale as you can see here we have um, the alignment guide so that you know what the position will be right here we have the uh, rockets and fuel tanks assembly guide so both uh, can be attached to the wings of course you will have to put the aerial and canopy even though manufacturer does not mention that you can open canopy but obviously because it's assembled out of two parts you can use it for uh, opening the cockpit here we have first marking option uh, second one I'm not sure why the first one did not have the um, note which aircraft was that maybe that wasn't the marking option no it is so maybe they forgot who knows here we continue with third marking option fourth fifth and sixth here the British aircraft so in total six marking options and as I said these kits should be already available on um, our Mahobi website as far as I remember or maybe in some good model shops so if you would like to build the uh, small scale FM2 Wildcat it should be quite an interesting choice of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this expert set Wildcat write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye